Welcome to Build Edge. I am Keymark Product Manager Aaron Dietzen and I'm here to walk you through a Build Edge plan model. Give you a idea of the basics of a Build Edge model. I'm going to hop into Sketch up here. And I have a Build Edge model open on my screen right now. A Build Edge model is made up of a series of entities. So I have some walls, some windows, doors. Right in here I have a floor between levels and then a couple of roofs. Each of these items is a build edge entity. Each of these entities is made up of a series of geometry and some proprietary build edge data. All of that information is dumped together into a SketchUp group. Selecting on a group I can bring up the properties of those items in the build edge UI. You can grab a window and see the information about the window. Uh, the information is all tucked inside of the group. It's important to know that because as you make changes to your model, as you use SketchUp, you do have to be careful with the build edge model of how you treat these groups. Because there's proprietary information inside the group that SketchUp does not know about, you can cause your model to do some odd things if you manipulate these groups in the wrong way. So some of the things I can do are things like moving walls. This is a great way to manipulate your model. As I move walls around, uh, it's going to update change my door, window locations, my intersecting walls are going to be manipulated, my roofs, floors will, will move along with those. Uh, but it, you, I don't want to do certain other commands like I don't want to grab a roof and move it off of the model because it'll come right back. I wasn't an undo, it actually jumped back to where it was supposed to go. This is important to know because if you do do things like that, if I if I take uh, for example, I take this whole model and I make it into another group or a component uh, that will actually cause problems with the data. If I grab this whole model and move it, stuff will start jumping around that I don't intend. The problem is, again, like I said, SketchUp is treating all of this like they're just standard groups, but the Build Edge plugin while running is trying to treat these entities like entities, like they actually are things, and the data gets confused if you start moving or manipulating those items. So the best way to deal with this, the best way to model in Build Edge is to do your modeling inside of Build Edge, leave the groups the way they are, and then when you get to the point where you want to manipulate outside of Build Edge, if I want to go in and I want to add additional architectural details, I want to do cleanup of lines, I want to change colors, that sort of thing, that's what this command right here, commit to SketchUp, is for. The commit to SketchUp command will basically dump the Build Edge data right out of the model. This is a command that we'll go over in a lot more depth in another video, but I just wanted to give you a heads up, point out this is how we use SketchUp how we store our data inside of SketchUp uh, to make so you can quickly and easily model buildings inside of Build Edge. For more information on Build Edge, contact us at buildedge at keymark.com or visit www.buildedge.com. Thank you very much.